For detective physical access controls, we use motion detectors, sensors, and alarms. Again, these are detective controls. Motion sensors are commonly infrared sensors, so there are ways to foil them, but they're very commonly used in situations where you want to find out if something or someone is moving in that area. When a sensor detects an intruder, it will activate some sort of alarm. Now, a motion detector is used to detect motion, of course. Different sensors can be used to sense different situations. You can have a water sensor if you're trying to detect whenever a water level has risen to a certain degree. Smoke detectors, very common utilities. We also in the home now use more commonly radon gas detectors or other types of gas detectors and sensors. So different types of sensors will sense different environmental entities and then when a certain level or clipping level has been reached, it will trigger an alarm and it's up to someone or something to react to the alarm and take action. Another detective control is closed circuit TV. Very common and very effective way to monitor resources. Monitoring can occur from a remote location. That's one of the nice things about it. If you have camera coverage and you want to have overlapping camera coverage, so if one camera is taken offline for whatever reason, you have other cameras around it that will cover its area, so nothing is ever left uncovered, you can remotely monitor what the CCTVs are seeing. Nice way to see what's going on even though you can't be everywhere at once. And we're seeing more and more higher resolution monitors where we can look at many screens at once. Typically four to eight is about all that a human can scan very easily, but you can record these images for evidence collection for later purposes.